So to put in the program, we're going to press the program button. You may not see this screen because you may not have Python as either an app or available on your um, 84CE. Uh, but that's an option down the line. Uh, I'm going to go into TI Basic, which is the screen that you're more likely to see. And we're going to create a new program. I can arrow to the right um, to create a new program. I'm going to give it a name. Notice that Alpha Lock's on. So that means we're going to have access to all the green um, letters. And well, let's keep it simple. Let's just call it Pythag. Once that's done, we press enter and now we can enter our program. To access all the functions on the program, we go back into program. You should have hub if again you've got a, a more later OS um, and I'll talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. Um, and some of the others that you won't use at this stage, um, control, we're not going to use too much um, at this point, but there would be much more opportunities for you to, but we're going to use input output. And obviously there'll be two lengths for a Pythagoras if we're working at the hypotenuse that we don't want to enter. And I'm going to show you two ways that we can do it. One is by using input. Um, and we need to give it a variable because obviously everything has to be stored as a variable. So let's use alpha A for that one there. Um, and the other way is to go back into program. Another input output. I'm going to use prompt. I'm going to show you the difference between those two. So if I run that program now, notice it says up here to edit the menu via alpha F5. So that's also got some useful things on it that you're going to access later. But for now, I'm just going to execute the program. And you see how the first line of code just gives me a question mark. It actually doesn't say anything else. So I'd have to type in a number to say the length, say three. And then but this one, because I used um, prompt, it's going to have the B on it. So let's say I typed in four. And that's what it's going to do. It's going to do nothing else because I haven't asked it to do anything in the program. So to access the program here, go back into program. But this time I'm going to go to edit. And I'm just going to show you how we can add some text in here to show it a little bit different. To do that, we we'll would go second insert, and I'm going to put alpha lock on because I want to access mostly the green key, so that's second alpha. And we're going to then say um, length, and you could type in obviously whatever you wanted here, and you could use, use spaces if you wanted to. Uh, the space button is just above the zero there. Um, I will we'll use that because what I'm going to do is go length, and then I want the equals. Now the equals button is in test, so that's going to be in here. And because it's text, we've got it in speech marks. It's not going to do anything else. So I'm going to give another space and close the speech marks. I must put a comma afterwards. So that now, um, when I run that program, it will look a little bit different. And I'll show you that in a minute. Now, what do we want it to do? Well, we want it to square root, add, sorry, square those two lengths, add them together, then square root it and give us the answer. So we can do that many ways. Um, I'm going to show you in one quick line. So to go square root of the first length squared plus the other length squared. Those are our two variables that we've got stored. And we're going to then store that as a new length. So we could, in this case, call it H, I suppose, if you wanted to. And then we can, uh, then we will just display that. So again, it's an input or output. We would display that length and we can either just display it as that variable with nothing or we could add some text again I've showed you how to do text there so for now I'm not going to worry about doing that um, we just would display H and that's the program simple as that again let's run it alpha f5 see now that it asks us for the length so we type in a number another length let's go four and we know that it should spit out the answer of five let's just do a different one Run the program again. Let's go say seven this time and three. There we go, it gives us the length. So hopefully you found that useful and thank you for watching.